Now, where there is an aggregate demand curve, there must be an aggregate supply curve. Now, similar to its microeconomic counterpart, the AS curve shows the total output of goods and services that firms as a whole would like to produce and sell at each price level. And there's quite a lot of debate among economists regarding what the AS curve should look like. And when we put all these models together, we get the AS curve that we have shown. Now, as you can see, there are three distinct regions. On the extreme left, we have the horizontal Keynesian range. National output is very low over this range, meaning resources are largely unutilized or underutilized. Now, this is commonly seen during recessions when aggregate demand is very low and there is significant unemployment in the economy. Should there be a rise in AD, national output can easily increase without any increase in the general price level. In other words, a the AS curve is perfectly elastic over this range. On the extreme right, we have the vertical classical range. At this point, the economy has reached full employment. What this means is that all available resources have been efficiently utilized. Output cannot increase any further because the economy has simply run out of raw materials. Instead, when AD increases, the general price level rises, so supply is perfectly inelastic over this range. And the curves that are connecting the two regions is the intermediate range. So since the curve here is upward sloping, increases in AD result in both increases in national output and increases in the general price level.